I've known Felicia for a couple of years now, and this is a woman of impeccable character. Uh, what a great lady, hardworking lady. She was on her way back from her mother's house going down this two-track road and she saw this uh, young individual very near the area actually on probably the same property, the same uh, home site lease I've been camping and researching. And I find it interesting that she's looking at this thing thinking it's a child and it's not a child. And she wonders why is a child dressed this way and when she gets closer to it it's not a child, it's covered in fur. The only difference between the fur on the body and the rest of the body is when it ran off when she got closer to it. The uh, bottom of the foot was gray. Uh, video to follow. Legs are farther up, and you could tell his feet were right compared to if a little kid, how they would pick up something, they'd either be bending over or doing this. But that, I noticed that when it was this way and a lot wider, just picking up something, playing with it in front of it. And then when it saw me coming, it looked this way, and it stood up. So you were coming from, from that direction yeah. and uh, the direction of the From the next drive off, then right okay. here is when it ran. Then that's when I noticed it was all one color, from head down to its feet. And the only difference in it was its foot. You said it had a, a dark gray bottom of the foot? Yeah, that was the only different color out of the whole thing. So driving up on this thing, you were thinking it was a child? Yeah, okay. These people over here have two kids, but they have two girls, but their hair are long. And this little creature. <laughs> two more little creatures. <laughs> yeah. And that little creature was all just one color all the way down, that red brown color. And, and then I saw it just about how tall? Way. About how tall would you say it was? From where I was, it could have been anywhere from three to four feet. Three to four feet? From when it finally saw and stood up. You said he was about the size of a five-year-old? Yeah. So this one, he was kind of skinny? Yeah, he was kind of slim. Kind of slim. Like straight all the way down, but when he walked, he was kind of like at an angle like that. It, it, the way he moved, you, you knew it wasn't a human. I mean, it, yeah, there's it a little... Like there's like a little... Gave a little psyche like thing going on there. Yeah, like this is not side to side. This is not a human. This is not That's what, I was what I'm used to. When I was driving down all the way, I was looking at its movement, just memorizing it. Because when I was coming in, I was avoiding all the bumps. I didn't care. I was driving through them by then. Just thinking about it. And it kept going through my head. It's not a kid. It's not a kid. No, it's not a kid. Well, it's somebody's kid. Yeah. <laughs> not our kid. And typically when I talk to people down here about something in that variety, they've got the six-pack abs already. They've got the big burly shoulders, and they're like three or four feet tall. So mm -hmm. this is this is something else. This is uh, the different body style that I've recognized down here. I call the scragglies. They get really big, but they're kind of yanky and lanky. Mm -hmm. um, they're not like what we see on the mountains, but they do get very large. Mm -hmm. And that's typically what we find on here year-round, are the scraggly-looking ones. There's still a big guy down here that doesn't belong down here, and I think he hooked up with, I, I don't know how to say it, something outside of his species, and that's probably what you saw. Because it was your uh, grandpa's brother? Yeah. Who saw the big guy covered in mud down on the river with the little guy with him here back around the 4th of July, I think it was. Yeah. So, very interesting. We're going to spend more time down here. I have been. I have been. And the party's just started. Once that corn gets up at Nappy, yeah. the party's on. Yeah, they've already got half their crop big, and they have another one coming in. It's going to be interesting. Just the beginning. Yeah. I think it's going to be your biggest year yet out here. And the more people we have aware of what's going on, I think the better chances are we'll get some photos yeah. and some video and maybe some more people to talk to, you know. Get to know your neighbors. Mm -hmm. It's important. Thanks for your interview. Mm -hmm. Thanks for your time, too. God bless you.